Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Verkamen Law Office Legal Podcast, the NJ Laws 2. In this edition, we look at a recent case decided by the New Jersey Appellate Division, State v. Mataro. Um, and Mataro indicated that the construction of a videotape may permit a DWI defendant to vacate a guilty plea. In the Mataro case, the court considered defendant's appeal from the denial of a post-sentence motion to vacate his plea of guilty to driving while intoxicated. The motion was predicated on a claim that the state withheld exculpatory evidence, but that by the time the motion was filed, the evidence, a videotape recorded by the camera in the arresting officer's patrol car, had been destroyed through use in accordance with the police department's procedures. In applying State v. Parsons, 341 NJ Super 448 and State v. Marshall, the court concluded that defendant failed to establish that he would not have admitted to driving if he had access to the videotape prior to the plea. And the court further concluded that the denial of his motion was fully consistent with the proper application of the principles set forth in State v. Slater. So, the court denied the motion to vacate the guilty plea, um, but they said destruction of the videotape under certain instances might permit a defendant to vacate a guilty plea. And that was State v. Mastaro. Uh, appellate division decided December 14, 2009, docket number 14-2-6169. For additional information, visit website njlaws.com, that's njlaws.com, or website benotguilty.com, that's be not guilty.com. For other information, call the Law Office of Kenneth Fakamon, 732-572-0500 or at 2053 Woodbridge Avenue, Edison, New Jersey, 08817. Thank you and good luck.